first one is called Suicide Seduction Geography Lessons. Arousal on the brain, appendages pinched between thumb and forefinger. The liar's chair was burned outside as programmed by their computer systems. Just not wired for dying or for getting delusions of grandeur. Shockwaves went through her body, let them grope, fondle, and escape. Illicit lust moans filled the room, undercut with guilt. Why? Does this excite you? Neurons torn out and up inside, especially designed mirror handcuffs treatment. Once it was inside, the veins felt better. Arrange the grand reception to induce the relaxation response. When they're fully out, she'll take the holy gun, anointed, and blow their brains all over the walls. It's an abstract expressionist crime scene to remove her pain. Forgive me, Father, forgive me now because they're watching, and I must look like a penitent, just an undercover sinner. Spouting encoded blasphemies, tightening veins, the sensation continually played with her discarded morals. What had been home was now destroyed. She was displaced and lived in exile, which made her glad. She could never go back in, out forever. Just add one more insult to the list, she said. She stammered and caught her breath. Three hot stages of a now stretched and distorted heart. Please go away, the shadow hurts me. Thank you. This next one is uh, brand new, actually. It uh, was inspired by a painting by uh, Marjorie Cameron, who was uh, a friend of Alistair Crowley. It's called, A Fossil Bat Searching in a Sex Garage for a Velvet Shot. <laughs> Pull and scratch at a sensitive spot while intercourse plays itself as a sucking rainbow-like shape as a bride stripped bare by her hatred even was setting fire to the cardboard tombstones. I don't remember sleeping or waking, just passing from one state to another state, unsatisfied by flexible puzzles under her translucent eyelids, buried by sullen prayers and regrets unaware. Take me home, please take me. Data unhinged with a mad scourging in acidic liquids, a way to prove a succulent existence, sliced up by weapons of an unknown gender, a hobby was hopping inside random bullet-ridden vehicles. I like that feeling of impending doom, makes my stomach jump slightly like when you're on that first drop of the cyclone, a cold nails dragging up my spinal column on the other side of the television screen. The black shoreline holds on multiple faces as the burgundy water laps and licks, soaking layers dynamically, a final climax is lavish, lavish and multi-layered, color upon color, trading one pain for another, clean warm fluids firing in the corner of a room. A non-specific environment exists only to punish the cravings for chrome hormones distilled in the twilight of a smile. We are always born again. Instead of lace, the barbed wire was the functional saver. She loosened the strict restraints before she cut her victims down. Please kill the lights, they scare me so. Sacred promises from me to you. Carburetting notes and slammed against the wall. Flesh and chrome and cool steel against plastic. The morning doves who only exist to punish me and to punctuate cruelty with their calls. She started coming in replicas, promising me that she would be finished soon and all would be perfect, all would be perfect. Grabbing another honey victim from rubber stamp glassine envelopes, pushing it into cloudy skies overloaded. As a child, she had tried to electrify the inert objects by running copper wire from the socket to the joint. She enjoyed the consequences of pain and parental punishment. Changing from one pain to another, please enter your prayer request. My frail wings trembled after capturing her black halo. I felt the exquisite pain offered by obscure erotic devices. I savored the odor of Scorpio rising from the tresses of her ebony hair. Thank oh, you. Wow.